Decomposition of a corpse is a continual process that can take from weeks to years, depending on the environment where the corpse is found. So in this video, we divide it up into stages, five of them to be exact. We are modeling human decomposition with a piglet because the fat distribution in the piglet resembles that of a human as well as the covering of hair and the ability to attract insects. Please be aware that the images you will see in this video are a little bit disturbing because it is in fact showing uh, decomposition of a body. Um, but it's important to be aware of how a body breaks down in order to determine the time post-mortem or time since the individual died. The first stage of decomposition is what we call the fresh stage, and it occurs immediately post-mortem or after death. It's accompanied by rigor mortis, or the stiffening of muscles post-death, algor mortis, or the dropping of body temperature, and liver mortis, or the pooling of blood. It's also accompanied by autolysis, which is the breaking down of cells. Stage two is referred to as the bloat, which is caused by the production of gases by the dying, bursting cells, which causes the swelling of the body. And it also leads to a gr greenish tint in the skin, which is released by toxins that are being produced. Stage three is active decay. And this is when we actually start to see the body start to break down and it loses its mass. Um, there's a decomposition of fluids that begin to leak from the body, and this is when the body actually looks like it's disintegrating or going away. During stage four, or advanced decay, we start to see a decrease in insect activity. Uh, the body starts to dry out and actually begins to ferment, and the area of the body that's touching the surface that it's laying on uh, starts to grow a layer of mold. The final stage, or dry decay, is the one that tends to take the longest, and it's a loss of everything on the body but dry skin and bone. So we see a complete absence of any kind of moisture on the body.